what, what, what's been insightful over the last couple of days and what we might try and do in future. Um, one of the things that you learned when you joined ODI under the Simon Maxwell era is that the whole thing about what you do on Monday morning was a question you couldn't neglect. So it has been drilled in. So I don't know what Monday will be a horrible day for many people in that case, given, given the complexity of the issues. But essentially what I'd like us to do is, is try and grapple with two questions and to all be done by half past five, because that's what we promised to, to finish the conference. So we'll, we'll aim, my job is to make sure we stick to that. And the first question is, what insights do we take away, do you take away from this conference? Some of them may be new, some of them may just be an affirmation of what you were thinking before, but the discussion, the evidence sort of points that more strongly. Some may be quite specific, some may be more general. We will, at ODI, write this up in a way that's a fantastic stylized discussion that hits our own results targets and ensure that we can put another one of these next year. Um, and we will hope to capture the richness of this narrative and this dialogue. Obviously, we will fail. So what is most important for us is in terms of this challenge that one or two people have put um, forward in terms of how we take this learning at a more granular level and how that applies to what individuals do. I think the most significant thing is what each of you have taken away from this and what you will do as a consequence of that, um, as much as how we try and capture it. So before we get started with a panel, I want you to just take three or four minutes talking to the person or the couple of people next to you and just compare notes on these two questions and then... <laughs> we're going to ask you and the, the sort of the conceit I've pulled here is that in a way you're the panel and we're the audience for one so oh, a lot of people have talked a lot from this side of the table and I'm conscious there possibly hasn't been enough from the other side and we want to hear from voices who haven't had a chance to talk yet um, so just the two questions an insight or two that you take away however general however original or unoriginal however specific number one and then start thinking about actually let's hold that and we'll pause the next question for now. Just an insight you take away. Quickly, two minutes. I'm going to John's, turns, I'm turn to <laughs> Mr. Omatsu, so they say a good example here. Yeah. Let's just take a few. We're going to, I think we'll ask this side, and then we'll come back to the, the panel who've, who've been prepped. So um, microphones roving. Let's just capture a, a quick flurry of thoughts or reflections. Nothing too long. Hands, yeah, hands up, or I'll start picking people. There we are. Deborah, please. <coughs> You. Um, okay, so just the question of evidence, um, and uh, may maybe it just didn't come out in this session uh, before the break, but um, surely there is evidence out there, and we're just not asking quite the right questions when we try to aggregate it. Um, and is it time, or has there already been uh, um, a systematic review? of the evidence. You just push your evidence on? On the difference that PFM, efforts to improve PFM <coughs> make to development outcomes. Brilliant. Got you. Question on evidence. Someone else who's... <laughs> Philip. <laughs> then, there we are. You organise this. <laughs> there we are. <laughs> what do you reckon? I can, do we only have I can, sorry, we've only got... Oh, I can sorry, do I this very, very quickly. I, it's just about two things that Paolo and I were just talking about. One point around this issue of why it is that we keep, we seem to revisit this as a recurring question and very little seems to change in practice, even though we all seem to agree about many things that don't seem to happen in practice. And then the other one, which is maybe slightly more new and innovative is that there seems to have been a lot of talk about HR, the HR dimension of PFM, capacities of people, careers, and all that stuff. And that seems to be something that I'm certainly going to keep on thinking about after, after this is done. Brilliant, thank you. Feel free to reflect the, yeah, the comments of who you and whoever your neighbor were. Yes, just with that, please. Yeah, uh, perhaps a simple and almost a st I mean straightforward thing that must have been said a lot of times, and I, th I was talking to uh, Neo and we agree that reforms have to be contextualized. There are a lot of variables that we take for granted that we miss out, and we present reforms as a panacea. And yet there are a lot of other hidden issues within the country context that differ from one place to the other. Right. Take some, some more. Yeah, all the way, all the way at the back, and then we'll work back. Emma, I think. Well, no, yeah, you go, please. 
Thank you. Uh, mine is about, uh, there is one issue mentioned by Antoinette about uh, the budgeting for maintenance costs. Every year the government invests, but every year we don't see, uh, after 10 years, 20 years, the investment, if not maintained, what will ha be happening? <laughs> so this issue, I, I, sh I think, next uh, should be uh, also mentioned and then discussed. Right, and then Emma, I think, was next, and then we'll... And then Emma, then Ian. Um, we might, uh, my take home is that uh, despite the numerous challenges with the implementing PFM, PFM reforms, as well as difficulties to demonstrate outcomes, I think uh, PFM is a reform worth pursuing, as over time it can achieve uh, results. Okay. Yep. Ian, please. Yeah. Uh, we start <laughs> off the conference by hearing from Richard Allen that there's a consensus. And at the end of the conference, I'm a little confused, uh, especially after the last uh, session. There doesn't seem to be much <coughs> consensus at all, even on some fundamental points, such as do budget reforms actually improve development income outcomes. Perhaps this is because we had Professor Sheck, who's <laughs> always a maverick yeah. <laughs> and inf influential. Yeah, John. And especially if anyone has a point that sort of speaks for or, 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 or challenges what Ian's taken away. Can I say that I thought Professor Sheck described what I was trying to do in the Treasury in the 1960s. And I never understood what output budgeting was. Uh, but I think I understand how an incremental uh, planning for the improvement of services uh, can make good sense. And I've been saying that to people in relation to PI12 uh, for as long as I've been doing this. Uh, can I add that um, it seems to me that in, in all of these situations, we ought to be more aware of the political and cultural um, constraints that um, one is working with when, uh, when you go to do uh, this sort of work in, you can't assume that uh, the, these places are nice open societies and uh, regular democracies. Uh, you may have vested interests and corruption that you have to contend with. And, um, do we have enough reflection of that sort of background noise? Yeah. Okay, no, wonderful. I'll go to Renault. I think this speaks to the, the contextualization point again. Mm -hmm. And anyone, we, we corralled a few people in a room for half an hour last night, so I might pick on them if the hands don't flow. We'll just take a few. So, so just, just first, just go to Renault. So I just have three uh, words pendulum, <laughs> blueprint, uh, and rising stars. I guess that's four words. So pendulum, because of the, you know, the, the, that pendulum swinging between one orthodoxy to another, and maybe the, the, the answer being not about that, but about a different way of doing things. Uh, blueprint, because of what Matt was saying about, you know, it's probably a combination of various things, right? Uh, muddling through and then a blueprint to, to, to move forward. And, and the Rising Stars program, because I, I think that's a really interesting practical thing that Louisa shared with us about how you can make change from within uh, actually happen. Great, wonderful. We'll take, yeah, Fabaram. Ahmed, and uh, then one more. Mm, uh, uh, from this uh, rigorous uh, exercise for two days, I found that we have to link three things. Experience, learning, and results. That's fine. Okay. Right, nice, and, nice and sharp, thank you. Ahmed, and then Matthew, and then more. Yeah. I mean, one main point I took from this was there's a lot of emphasis on back to basics, working with the grain, understanding the context, as well as the political realities on the ground. Um, but in discussions with, with my colleagues here on the side, um, one of them mentioned, we've been here before with Deja Vu, five, six, seven years ago, even longer. And why haven't things changed? So maybe one main takeaway from me would be, we focus a lot on developing countries, but we actually need to shine a mirror on the donors and their incentives and their political realities. Will the boards of the World Bank, the ministers of um, um, development organizations, Will they take notice of the things that have been coming out for the past couple of years in terms of how the development community needs to change? Great. And a final thought for now. Greg, sorry. Yeah. 
Um, my optimistic take on these questions are that they're great questions. I really enjoyed the concept note before the conference, and I've been in discussions here over quite a long time on these questions, and I think PFM reform is complicated, and the fact that these questions come back means that they're good questions. Great, thank you. This was not particularly scientific, but it was just to get you thinking a little bit, Get then we'll, we'll come to the panel. I mean, I'm, I'm struck by some of these themes. I'm also conscious that we, you know, part of the recurrence is the fact that ODI keeps inviting you back for conferences with recurring <laughs> themes. So maybe we're part of the problem as well as part of the solution, but we'll, 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 we'll grapple with that. But certainly some of these, the, this sort of pendulum swing has sort of recurred on a lot of the themes and, and I don't think we want to try and enforce, sort of suggest any particular consensus has emerged or at least to, to make it artificial. But why don't we take a, a run of reflections from across the panel here um, who were given a bit more advanced warning to think about this question um, on, a, on a couple of thoughts about what they took away from, from the last couple and of days. The uh, and the way forward. We're going to come to the way forward, don't worry. Um, so let, let's do both. Yeah. Do you want to start? Let me, start, okay. let me run left to right my okay. 